So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host, Hector. And today we're going to talk about the brand new album by the band Body Count. And here's the cover for the album. It's called Merciless. So for those of you that do not know Body Count, they started in the 90s. Uh, obviously, the most important or famous thing about this band is that I see uh, the original gangsta rapper is the frontman of this band. So in 1991, they released their debut record, which was called Body Count, and it had that song called Cop Killer, which was a song that was very controversial at the time because he obviously the subject matter and a lot of people were mad. Even the president at that time from the United States, uh, George Bush, uh, called it despicable. Uh, so, you know, there was a lot of pressure and they put that out and they did put out a few albums in the 90s, but then they kind of, I think I see, uh, was, con you know, was concentrating more on his acting and obviously uh, on his rap career than this. So they put it on a back burner and in 2014, they came back and they've been releasing consistent album. And, you know, uh, the style of Body Count, uh, it's like a hardcore meets rap and has fresh metal elements. And that's the sound. And the way that Ice-T does the rapping and the singing uh, for this uh band really reminds me of suicidal tendencies. So the album cover is an homage to the movie Hostel. Uh, and the album starts with an interrogation interlude where it's basically Ice-T interrogating, well, that dude that you see right there. And things doesn't go well, but it, it's really an intro that goes into the first song, which is Merciless, which there's a music video for it. And basically, that's a song about saying how much of a badass <laughs> Ice-T is. Like, he'll, he'll show you no mercy. Do not fuck with him type of vibe. Uh, and, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, this album has 12 songs, 41 minutes in length. And there's a few guests. You have uh, George, uh, Corpse Grinder from Cannibal Corpse on a song. You have Joe Bat from A uh, Fit for an Autopsy. You have Howard Jones uh, from former Kill Switch Engage, Light the Torch. And <laughs> you also have Max Cavalera. And the one that really blew my mind, and it's the elephant is the room, is that there's a cover or like type of a cover of Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. And David Gilmour is in the song uh, playing guitar uh, and I think uh, singing some of the choruses. And I was like, when I saw that, I'm like, I never thought in my wildest dreams that there would be a song that would uh, be like uh, Pink Floyd meets uh, Body Count. Uh, never in a million years. Uh, so yeah, there's some interesting stuff in this record to talk about. So uh, I think uh, the tracks, you know, you know, this is this isn't like lyrics that you have to like. Uh, like really think about them. You know, the subject matter on this record, they talk about racism. They talk about, you know, abusive cops. They talk about crooked politicians. Uh, they talk about, you know, like, uh, like I have a gun. If you try to shoot me, I shoot you back. So it's subject matter that they have done before. Uh, but, you know, it, they do it in an entertaining way. Uh, I think Ice-T, as a rapper or lyricist, you know, he's got a good flow. And even at 66 years old, uh, he can do it better than Mike Shinoda. Yes. So, yeah, uh, you know, he's got that instinct, like, uh, appeal to him. So uh, let me talk about the tracks that I thought were standouts. Uh, so... Uh, I think the songs on this album that have the guest vocals are really good. Uh, the one that I really enjoyed the most on this song, on this album, sorry, was Live Forever featuring Howard Jones because I love Howard Jones vocals. And that one felt uh, like it was less abrasive and more melodic. And it, 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 it almost sounded like a Light the Torch song like featuring Ice-T. 
And I really enjoyed like the melody because it was a little bit different than some of the other tracks. Uh, Mr. Bling on the elephant in the room. I gotta say that I felt like maybe this shouldn't work, but it's actually a pretty cool cover. And what makes it work is that it's not a, like a faithful cover to a song. Yeah, Ice-T is talking a lot about like uh, how society, you're connected like to devices and you're numb. And then David Gilmore comes with the that great guitar and that, you know, chorus from the, obviously the Pink Floyd song. But uh, it's not like a faithful rendition. It's like a who like meshing like uh, Ice T body count with Pink Floyd, and I thought you know I would think on paper this shouldn't work, but it actually kind of works. And it's a cool rendition. It's pretty original rendition, and I like that the type of rapping or delivery that Ice T does on this is not like super harsh. But it's also not as mellow because uh, you don't want too mellow. You want to make some difference with that track. So I think it's an interesting uh, cover, uh, if I may say so. Uh, the song with Joe Bat, Psychopath, uh, it's a great track. You know, uh, Joe uh, from Fit for an Autopsy is a great vocalist. That's why he's one of the best vocalists in Deathcore right now. And he really shines on this song. It's that's one of the most aggressive songs, and it's all about like uh how you're on a psychopath, do not fuck with me, I'll fuck you up, type of vibe. So that's a great track. Uh I gotta say, the I didn't enjoy the song with Max Cavalera Drug Lords. I just thought that uh on that track, Max Cavalera, I can I can only hear him a little bit, so it almost felt like he wasn't there. Uh, so it, out of the all the guest stars, I think that was the weakest uh, guest star on this album. Uh, so uh, the other song that has a guest star is The Purge, which Corpse Grinder. And that one starts with, you know, like a mini speech of like, uh, welcome, today's The Purge. Everything is legal. Uh, you can kill, do whatever. So obviously taking a hint from those movies, uh, I think Corpse Grinder really brings the aggression on this track, and it's an entertaining track. Uh, so I enjoyed that one. So what I could say are the cons of this record. Uh, maybe there's some songs that seems very pre repetitive, like Fuck What You Heard, uh, Do or Die, seem kind of samey, uh, which... And World War, like, it seems like they're retreading, like, same stuff over and over again. And uh, the album closer, Mick contract, is like, pay me my money, motherfucker. I don't know. It was kind of corny, and it wasn't a great album closer. I think uh, this album should have closed with another song that wasn't that one. Uh, there's a song that uh, is very, the most political song on the record is Lying Motherfucker. And... Obviously, it's aimed at Trump because there's a line on the song that says, and you're running for office again, and like everything that you say is a lie. So, uh, but this song, you know, you can clearly know who, who Ice-T wrote it about, but it can really be about any politician because let's be honest, people, every politician is a lying motherfucker at the end. So it doesn't matter. It can be in the United States, in England, here in Puerto Rico, we have a lion motherfucker, and it's a woman <laughs> who's going to be the governor. So, you you know, it can uh, relate to different people, even though we know that this one is aimed at Trump. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's a cool track, but the cons that I find in this album is it's, uh, it is fun at times, but yeah, it can be like, uh, obviously, it's not reinventing the wheel. But at this moment in time, do body count need to reinvent the wheel? No, I, I just think body count is going to do what they do. Uh, Ice T for his age sounds uh, pretty pissed and pretty energized. So uh, kudos to that. So in a rating, you know, my rating for this, like, you know, this isn't a bad album. Uh, obviously, this is not going to win album of the year, but it's also not bad. So I think there's enough good things here to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's a fun 
angry record that, you know, uh, what more do you want from body count? Do you want like uh, <laughs> Ice-T to start like uh, rapping existential lyrics about being a nice guy? No, he's going to be Ice-T. So I want to know from you, Couchers, what do you think of Merciless by Body Count? Did you enjoy it? Uh, comment down below. What are your favorite tracks? And coming up in the next few days, I have two more album reviews before album of the year ends and stuff like that. So I'm going to talk about the new Marilyn Manson album, uh, One Assassination Under God, Volume 1. That one will be Monday night, hopefully, with Señorita Sabrosura. And on Wednesday night, I'm talking about the OPEF album, The Last Will and Testament, with Wesley Negron from the band Mobs from Puerto Rico. And yeah, that will be it. So... Until next time, Couchers, this is Hector, the shield dude on a couch, and I'll see you all right here on the couch. Thank you and goodbye.